Hello everybody, Papu here. Today is Thanksgiving 2020. And I was taking my walk today. I started thinking about Thanksgiving and about us being in America and all that stuff. You know, we came in 1956. And as you know, we were not the first Greeks in America. The first recorded Greek in America, coming to America, was a sailor by the name Theodoro. They call him Theodore Greco, Greco Elinas. He sailed with a, a Spanish explorer in uh, 1528 and they landed in, the, in Florida. So he was the first one recorded. And after that, many, many followed. Well, uh, the other day we were talking with Lisa, and uh, she said the best thing that my mother made for me was, of course, to bring me to this world. Uh, the second be best thing is that she brought me to America. And I was thinking the same thing today. The best things my parents did is to bring me to, the, to this world. I'm thankful for that. The second thing that they did for me was to push me to go to school. Very thankful for that. And the third one, the third best thing is to bring me to America. And I'm very thankful for that. And of course, I'm very thankful to the people who build this beautiful land, beautiful country, beautiful government, America, called America. Now, I'm going to tell you, we didn't just get up one morning and said, okay, we're going to America, and here, here we come. It was a process that we have to go through. Uh, I understand at that time, I don't know, maybe now, still now, uh, America has a, a quota how many people from each country would be allowed to come to this country every year. I don't know what the number it was or what it is now. I'm sure there is in there uh, if you are a scientist, you have priority, if you have uh, somebody's priority. But one of the requirements was that you would have some sponsor here in America that would guarantee uh, that he will provide for you and you're not going to be a burden to the society. So he had to guarantee that in order to make an application uh, for you, for a relative or someone to come uh, to America. So we had uncles, I had uncles, my father's brothers were here. So they made this prosclisi, which calls the invitation, inviting us to come to America. In order to be allowed to come, to enter, you had to have a visa, but the visa was given by the embassy in Greece. Uh, as you know, in the early time, in the 1900s, 18, 1900s, they had established the Ellis Island uh, processing plan, if you will. Uh, people who came to America, they first they landed in the island, which is in the middle of the Hudson River in, in uh, New York, and they had to go through doctors and through questioning before they will allow you to enter the, uh, the mainland. Uh, and I understand the way it was happening is as you went through the doctors, they just wanted to make sure two things, that you were not sick and you were not bringing diseases in this country and you are a good person and a good citizen that you would follow the laws of America. And if they found someone, uh, and they, would, they had a, a choke mark, 
as they go around, they, they choke them at the back. And if you had an ex, then they put you back on the boat and you went back to your country. Well, that procedure, when we, in 1956, was not done on, on, on Ellis Island, it was in country itself. We had to go through doctors, and we had to go through the CIA to be allowed to get a visa from the embassy in Greece in order to come to America. We had no, the, the doctors had to be approved by the Americans. We didn't have doctors like that in Limnos, so we had to travel to Thessaloniki. We took a boat to Athens, and then from there we took, I don't know if we did anything else in Athens, any paperwork, maybe we did, I don't remember, in the embassy. Uh, we took a, a, uh, a train to Thessaloniki, and there we went to different doctors. Uh, we went through x-rays. We went to another doctor, we did the blood test. Another doctor, we did, did uh, 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 urine analysis. Uh, the other doctor, we did other stuff to make sure that we were uh, didn't have any diseases, otherwise that would not let us go in. Then back to the village, there was a man came in, uh, he spoke Greek, I don't know if he was Greek, but he was a CIA man. And he looked at all the records that we had in, in, in Atsiki. Uh, he was looking to see if we were uh, good citizens. Uh, he asked the neighbors. He asked, asked the authorities. Uh, you know, at that time, it was, uh, America was fighting, didn't want any communists. So he made sure that we were not anyways uh, members of the Communist Party in, in Greece. Uh, he was asked many, many questions, not as children. I don't know if he went to uh, to high school that was going, and I don't know where he went. But he asked my father if he ever went to jail. And he said, no, I've never been in jail. And he told him, said, you're lying, because you've been to jail one day. And the story is that when the Germans were there, uh, each family's house had to provide them an egg, one egg, every day by a certain time. And if you were late or you didn't bring it, they put you in jail for one day. Well, one day, a uh, uh, chicken was late, egg didn't get there on time, they put my father in jail. And they had a record of it and they found it. So the guy said, okay, it was the Germans, and I lived through that time. I knew what was happening, and uh, I'm not going to record that. You can go. Uh, after all that, I guess we somehow we got a visa. We, had a, we got a passport, a family passport, and the time came to leave at Siki. Uh, we packed stuff. I don't know. We didn't, didn't get involved with anything with the packing or what we took with us. Took some papers, some stuff from school. Uh, I don't remember what else, but I remember my, my mother had a baula. Uh, and in there she put uh, sedonia, put um, uh, pillows. I don't know what she did. <laughs> he, came, he came to the States. Anyway, by boat again, we went to to uh, Athens, Pirea, and took the boat uh, Queen Federica, the city of Frederiki. And from uh, Pirea, we stopped in Naples, and there we got a lot of Italians. And from there, we sailed 
to the Straits of Gibraltar, and uh, well, once we got out on the th North Atlantic, everybody gets sick. Boy, it was terrible. And it took us 13 days. We crossed over the, the Atlantic and we landed in Halifax in Canada. A lot of people went out in Canada. Canada had opened up and many young people and young women went to Canada. And then came to New York, I can't remember. We, uh, it was 42nd Street, 47, somewhere there. I remember we were coming into the harbor early in the morning. I was outside looking, wondering, scared. I see, I, I saw uh, a lot of cars or oh, were shiny things. I've never seen so many things coming, going fast. I saw the, the buildings in New York. I can't remember what I was thinking, but I know I was thinking. <laughs> I wasn't talking, I was thinking. If my, my feelings were scared, apprehensive. I didn't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, so when we came, we came to New York, our uncles that came picked us up. And the first thing they did the next day, almost the next day, they took us to a place with, a, and we got a social security number. Then they took us some other place, I don't know how many days after that, with a visa. We had a visa to enter in here, and it was stamped that we came in legally and all that. They gave us a green card. That allowed us to stay. The visa for us was to stay only a, a few months. The green card allowed us to stay here uh, five years, I think, forever, but... Um, you could not get the American citizenship. We were not Americans yet with a green card. You had to wait five years and then you would apply and go through uh, exams to be declared American citizens. And it was not easy for us. The, the hardest thing was the language. Uh, it, was, it was very, very hard to begin with. Anyway, but thank God we're here. Uh, glad we're not in Greece. And very thankful for, for our parents uh, and the, the people who build America, uh, this wonderful land. Okay, guys, have a nice Thanksgiving. Love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>